If you are tired of receiving a million notifications from ClickUp and you're not really sure where to actually go to start your day without feeling totally overwhelmed, well, you're not alone. <laughs> Admittedly, um, ClickUp is a little bit hard to get started on, and it's especially hard to get clarity on using because there's a lot of stuff. You can end up tracking a bunch of data, and all of a sudden you have so much stuff that you have no idea where to start when you're actually trying to start doing work. I get it. I'm a vetting ClickUp consultant. That means I've been like rubber stamped that I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to ClickUp. I've also been using ClickUp both personally and professionally for years. And I can say that I have faced these same issues. It is difficult to know sometimes, especially with new features being released almost every week, where you should go to start your day. So in this video, I'm going to go through some of the most common areas that you might use to start your day. That's going to include things like home, inbox, notifications, pulse, and of course, email notifications. I'm going to explain the pro and cons between all of these different uh, different ways to check what's been going on to start your workday. I'm also going to explain the difference because all of these have almost the identical names. They seem to have the same meaning, but they don't do the same thing. So if you've been a little tripped up by inbox, notifications, home, lineup, all these different things, be sure to watch this video. Hopefully it'll make sense by the end of it. And if it doesn't, leave me a comment below. Without further ado, let's dive in. So here I am in home and I'm going to show you some of the most confusing stuff around ClickUp right now. And it comes down to notifications in home. There's really two or th three, we'll say three types of information that's here. And this is at least how I make sense of it. All of these main headers you see here, all these main ones, comments, my task, docs, dashboards, lists, these areas are kind of like your search history. It shows you stuff that you've been in or around or that's been shared with you in the order of what, how recently you've interacted with it. Um, if it's favorited, it jumps to the top of the list, but really it's just your history. It shows you all of the stuff. That's especially what trending tasks is all about, the stuff that you've been working on that's had a lot of activity recently. And that's what most of the home pages. There are two real, three real exceptions to that. But that's what home is for some people who like to work on the same thing day in and day out. You're looking to start your day and just pick up where you were yesterday. Home might be the great place for you to start your day. The exceptions to the home is just your history rule are first lineup. Lineup is basically a list of tasks that you've hand selected, almost like a tag where you've hand selected them to be on your personal short list of things you want to focus on. So you can go in here and click add to lineup and add tasks one by one by clicking on them. You can also just be around your normal task area, open any task, click on those three dots and add to lineup that way. Depending on your workspace, you can add things to your lineup or other people's lineups. But the thing to remember is lineup is kind of the exception to the history rule where it's forward looking at what you want to focus on moving forward. So that's lineup. What are the other exceptions to home being history? Well, they're up here at the top. These two areas, the overdue tasks alert, as well as the agenda, are on the home page, stick with me here, but they're actually showing you stuff from the inbox tab. Why? I don't know. <laughs> this is home. This is the main home area, but there's this second inbox tab and I guess ClickUp is really worried that you're not going to notice it. So they put two pieces of information from the inbox tab on the home tab, same exact information, just spotlighted. So I'm here in inbox on the next subcategory. So these are kind of like in your email inbox, you know, how you have different categories, your inbox, your outbox, all that other stuff. What inbox shows you overall is things that are assigned to you throughout the entire workspace. And it shows you some different categories based on if they are done or not done and what the due date is. Inbox combines overdue tasks and agenda into one area called inbox. Again, why is that not just there? I don't know, but there it is. Next, on the other hand, shows you things that are coming up, things that are not due yet, but are assigned to you and have a due date in the future. They're grouped by date. Done shows you things that are done. That one's pretty easy, but it does show you things that are assigned to you that have been done, not just anything. Delegated show you tasks that you have selected and you have delegated to someone else which is apparently an unlimited feature. I didn't realize that, but you go in here and you can delegate a task to say, Hey, this is due, but I want to take it off my plate and give it to somebody else. If you are in a rush and all those delegated tasks will show up here under the delegated area, you'll be able to see the status of them, even though they are no longer assigned to you because you specifically delegated them. Finally, unscheduled. This is basically a group of tasks that have been assigned to you, but have no due date. Ideally, you don't want to have anything in your ClickUp account that actually needs to be done that doesn't have a due date because you see this is kind of obscured and it can be difficult to stumble onto these, especially if you have a long list to really triage what's important. 
So that is pretty much it for the inbox. One other thing I will say is there is the usual sort by category here where we can sort by name, date created, status, that kind of stuff. Oh, I lied. Actually not name, just priority um, and those kind of pieces here to help you organize things just a little bit if you wanted to. Just to recap, we've got home here. We've got these two pieces, which are basically inbox. You've got inbox where you can actually see that information. Next, which is things that are coming up, done, things that have been done, delegated, things that you have tossed onto someone else's plate and unscheduled things that are assigned to you but don't have a due date. One thing I will note here is in Inbox, you have a really handy dandy feature called Reminders, where you can create a reminder, much like you see right here, just by typing something. You can choose to give it additional details or just click Enter. In this case, I am going to give it additional details. And you can click Save to kind of get quick things out of your mind. This is called the Reminders feature, which you can also access through the bottom right corner. Why am I telling you this? Because the reason I have not actually been showing you my full Inbox or full Done tab is because reminders uniquely follow you through every single workspace that you're in. So right now I'm in a demo workspace because I want to protect the privacy of my client's information. But if I were to go into my inbox or my done area, you will actually see information, my reminders from all accounts that I've been in, even though I'm in the demo account. Reminders follow your personal profile, the little, you know, the face of you, no matter what workspace you are in in ClickUp. So it's kind of a unique thing. That's why reminders are pretty cool, but also why I can't fully share my screen right now. So that is home and inbox. Hopefully this makes sense. The other place besides home and inbox that you might decide is helpful to start your day would be notifications. Notifications is basically showing you anything that has changed. So whereas home shows you kind of what's been touched, notifications tell you how have things been touched, what specifically has happened. If you are someone who's kind of type A and likes to know what's been worked on, what's behind, you know, real-time notifications about everything in your workspace, notifications is probably where you're going to want to start your day. Here I can see clear notifications or done. You can mark them mark them uh, cleared or viewed by clicking the check icon, which was previously a different icon. They just changed this shape recently. Or I can clear all of them using the clear all button. Um, when I clear them, they'll show up under cleared, and I cannot unclear them just as a point of just, just so you know there. From the notifications area, I can actually click on the list. I can click on the folder. I can click on the task. I can click on whatever I need to to actually open that task and edit it or open that list and navigate directly to it directly from notifications. Notifications will show you things like people tagged you in a comment, status has changed. While we're here in notifications, let me just point out that there is a settings gear here. And if you click on it, it'll take you right to your notifications. Whatever you have set in your notification settings to notify you, that is what's going to show up in your notifications. So. If you haven't seen my video about changing or turning off most of your notifications, I'm going to link that above. Make sure you check out that video because these notifications can be very overwhelming, especially when they duplicate things you're already seeing in other areas. Just to wrap up, there are two other areas where you might find it helpful to start your day. Number one is the pulse area here in the bottom left corner. Your admin might turn this on or off depending on your account. You know, it's a workspace setting that people can turn off, but it basically shows you who's online. And maybe depending on how your workspace works, you might find this helpful to say, okay, who's on before I start my work day? This could be a good option here. It's down the little sonar icon here um, is the pulse where it shows you the activity of the pulse. In the final area, which I'm not even going to show you on my screen because I'm sure by now, if you've used ClickUp, you've seen them, is email. So all the notifications you get here, you do have the option to also receive email notifications about them. So if you are someone that actually likes receiving hundreds of emails a day and you prefer to triage things in your inbox, perhaps because you're using multiple CRM systems or um, project management systems because you're working with multiple clients and you can't log in to click up every day, something like that. Um, the email options are one way to start the day. What you would do then is turn on all of your emails or as many as you want, and then just triage your inbox every morning using an inbox zero method or just using some automated filters or just having a lot of patience and going through them one by one. So to recap, there are at least four places you can start your day in ClickUp before you start diving into specific tasks. First, home, if you like to see kind of a history of what's been happening. Inbox, if you like to see, you know, things that are assigned to you with or without due dates and when those due dates are. Another space you might want to go is notifications to so seeing what specific activity has happened. Similarly, you could get your email notifications if you want to be pinged every time something happened and look at your inbox to start your day. And of course, activity if you want to just see, hey, who's online and help you triage things that way. A lot of the times you'll hear people say that everything is also a good place to start your workday, but I find it a little overwhelming, so I would avoid going there if you can. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions or comments about where to start your day in ClickUp, or if there's something I should have hit on and maybe I missed, I would love your comments, questions, and suggestions in the 
comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. I'm a vetted ClickUp consultant and I release videos about ClickUp about two times a week, give or take. Um, although the topics come and go, I'm always taking suggestions and I use these suggestions from you guys to help guide future content. So leave a suggestion, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. If you are tired of trying to piece together YouTube videos to figure out how to align your workflows, your processes, and your ClickUp account, well, maybe it's time that we talk. I work one-on-one -on -one with a select group of clients every quarter to help people build out their systems and processes. Find out more at processdriven.co.